hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Chrissy um, I have received quite a bit of questions from you guys regarding my video on uh, my YSL purse a while ago uh, specifically you guys asked how the purse has been holding up uh, in terms of wear and tear um, so if you're looking into getting one of these and you wonder how the purse will hold up uh, with excessive use then this video is for you as you may have known, I got this purse around December 2020. So it is now February 2022. So it has been around more than a year after I got this one. Um, just for clarification though, since I got this purse, I did not switch it to any other purses. So I have been constantly using the only one purse for that the whole period of time. Um, I take it with me to go shopping, to go to doctor, to go grocery shopping, to run some errands, to go to lab test. Pretty much everywhere I go, I take it with me. Now, it is not because I'm too obsessed with it. Simply, it's because um, it's very functional. It has everything I need and I'm just too lazy to switch it to another alternative. Um, another, another reason is because this purse is very lightweight and very compact, um, but it doesn't feel flimsy or cheap. It just has everything I need to make a quick trip here and there. So that's why I don't even bother switching to another purse. Uh, that show you how this purse could be very functional as a daily go-to bag. Um, now, if you are the type of person who carries a lot of makeup items, um, then it is probably not for you. As for me, I only carry with me um, my iPhone, my lip balm, something like this, and um, cards. It has some card slots in here, um, maybe some napkins. And it actually also fits something like this as well, like that kind of skin, um, not skin, uh, theme. Um, that's pretty much it. Fit, that can fit into into this kind of uh, wallet on chain. If you're the kind of person who carry a lot of makeup items, then maybe uh, you will find it's hard to close the flap. That is one of the reason why um, I got this one because it's just small and compact and just have the spaces for things that I need to carry with me whenever I go out. In terms of wear and tear, as mentioned earlier, I used the purse every single time I go out and I do go out quite a bit. After a year of use, the purse, in my opinion, um, still hold up its, uh, holds up its shape and looks very excellent. Because of the bright color though, you may be able to tell there's a difference between the color now and the color in my other video when I first got it. Um, however, the difference though, in my opinion, is very, very minimal. You may not even be able to tell um, in person when you look at it. Uh, but obviously, if you compare a used purse right, right next to a brand new one, then probably you can see the difference. Now, a little bit of confession as well that I do not take care of the purse as well or as good as I should. Uh, I do not put it back into a dust bag or anything after it's used. I just put it on top of the drawer and that's it. And um, and yeah, I even like carry the purse with me when I wore dark clothes. And consider that you can tell that there's no, you can tell that this is quite a good investment because you can see, um, it's not that bad like of a color transfer in here, considering this one is quite bright color and all. But no, yeah, you don't you can't really see uh, much of the color transfer in here. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with this so far. I believe this purse is worth every penny that I spent. Um, now, if you spend thousands of, of dollars on an item and you have to pamper it, you have to put a lot of efforts to keep it in shape, then I don't think you make the best uh, use out of it. In my opinion, um, as long as we don't just toss it around because it's, you know, it's not cheap, it's quite expensive. As long as we don't just toss, toss it around with no care, um, then I think that you know, it should be how, um, that should be how we treat a purse. Um, I obviously, I do not just 
like leave it on the floor or put it on a dirty countertop without worrying about getting stain on it. I, I do not want any stain on my purse, um, that is for sure. Uh, but this one, what I really, really like about it is that um, you can just simply wipe it down without worrying about damaging the leather. Um, that that makes this purse very functional in my opinion. And um, this one probably is the most, one of the most resilient bag that I have owned. And I'm so happy with how it has been in the past year after one year of use and even the gold hardware here you barely can see any um um scratch mark or anything like that now the only wear and hair mark that you can see is probably up here um well on top a little bit of the the scratch here on top of the flap um that is pretty much it i can tell um with my very careless use in the past year, um, you can see that at the corner here, there's a little bit of the wear sign, um, but overall, it's pretty good. Like, um, it holds up very well, and it still looks very, very excellent in person, unless you look at it up close. Um, other than that, you can't really tell um, that this bag has been used for a year, constantly, every single day, to everywhere I go. And I do believe that this make a very good occasion bag as well. So it depends on what purpose you get this one for, for use as an occasion bag or daily go-to bag. Either way, you know, um, I'm sure that you will enjoy it. If you use this one as an occasion bag, I believe that the wear and tear situation probably uh, probably is better. Um, as for me, because it's more like a no-brainer for me, so then um, I can totally tell you how the wear and tear looks like after using it constantly every day or yeah, every time I go out, um, everywhere I go. Um, just a little bit of mark here, a little bit of mark there. Uh, there's no scratch. Well, maybe very minimal scratch but the leather is still very shiny. It's very, very eye-catching still. Um, yeah, um, overall, I'm very happy with this. For the price and how much of use that I have got out of this purse in the past year or in the past 14, 14 months, um, I think this is one of the great value option, great value option out there in the market. I don't think you will have to compromise on uh, on quality or style when you go with this purse i honestly think that um it is it is very very beautiful style um which looks classy at the same time so yeah that is pretty much it for an update on um wear and tear of the ysl purse wallet on chain however you want to call it and inside it looks um still very very awesome guys like there's nothing wrong about anything in here um yeah even when i open it like this you can't really tell the difference between the inside leather and the outside le leather in terms of the color and how much of the um use it is it looks quite the same so yeah that's how i love about this bag it's just simple compact easy to clean no brainer bag and um it gives you like a lot of style it makes you look quite classy with any outfit um yeah so if you have any question please leave it in the comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye bye